Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Knowledge Center. Now let us take one new program regarding the microcontroller and this has been asked in the model question paper. It's a simple program. We need to just toggle the bits of port P1. As you all know, there are four ports in microcontroller P0, P1, P2 and P3. So they are just talking about P1 and you have to toggle the all bits of P1. Here in the question they are not mentioned whether all bits are just an individual bit. So as they are mentioned it as a bits, so it is clearly understood that we have to toggle all the bits of port 1. Here you need to understand each port is having 8 bit. So port 1 will have 8 bits in it. That's what I have represented here. P1.0, P1.1, similarly up to P1.7. So these are the 8 bits for port 1. We have to toggle all these bits. Toggle in this sense, let's understand that part now. Toggling is nothing but, it has to change the bits in a particular port. Means P1.0, if it is having 0, after a fraction of second, it has to become 1. So it is changing its level, 0 to 1, or 1 to 0. If it is if it was 1, it has to change to 0. That is called toggling. Right, it is just changing the bits. From low to high, or high to low. So now, initially let us assume that all these are 0. So let we need to initialize it. So let me give these bits as 0. All 8 bits of port 1, I will give it as 0. So after a fraction seconds, I will make it 1. Okay, I will make it 1. That is nothing but a toggling. So to do this, what you can do? You just assign 0 to port 1. So give some delay. And then assign 1 to port, uh, all bits high. All bits high in the sense, how it will be represented? 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. So, we can represent that for port 1, first I will give all 0. All 0 is nothing but I will assign 0, 0 to port 1. After few delay, I will assign, and we need to toggle it. Means 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Every bit is changed to 1. That is nothing but toggling. So, here what happens? This is nothing but in x side is f and these 4 high means f. So, it has to be assigned as ff. That's it. You need to assign these two value in the program. So to do that, let's see how to get this. Just move this 0 to P1 and move FF to P1 with certain delay. So I will start with the origin 0, 0, 0, 0, H. Then directly take this into P1. So using an instruction called move, we can do that. Move P1, comma, hash, 0, 0, H. So first I will assign 0, 0 for all the bits of port 1. Then immediately you can assign this FF2, that port 1, but let me create some delay. So we have a special instruction called NOP. NOP stands for no operation. So it will not execute, it will not operate anything here. It will just wait for that one machine cycle. Once this is this line will be executed, after that when it comes here, it will just execute that line, but nothing will be happening over there. So that is why it is called no operation instruction. Okay. Uh, I will put one more NOP here. What I am just doing here is, I am just holding this 0, 0 in P1, P1 for these two instructions. After execution of these two instructions, I will put FF into P1. So that I can get some delay. Me move P1, 0, F, F, H. So, suddenly I am not giving FF into P1. I am just waiting to execute these two lines. After execution of these two lines, I will put FF into P1. It means, we can observe 0, 0 for few fraction of seconds in port 1. Okay, if you don't put this, suddenly it will change to FF. So I just want to have some delay over there. So NOP is nothing but what? It will just wait for one machine cycle. So one machine cycle means it will 1.085 microseconds that will be the time. It depends upon the frequency what we give and, uh, uh, and also the operating frequency of a microcontroller. Right. So it will wait for that much of time. Again here it will wait for that much of time. After that it will execute this line. So FF will be given to P1. So 0, 0 will become, all bits will become high now. So it is 0 to 1. Now again I need to go back to 0. Because they have mentioned that just toggle. They are not asked you to toggle it once. They just not mentioned that condition. So what you can do now here is, you can toggle it continuously. So you can repeat this cycle. So before repeating, just don't jump here. Okay, don't directly jump here because... I just want this FF, means all bits high, it has to be holded for the same duration, what I used here. So I will put NOP again, NOP, NOP. And then jump. Where should I jump? Now I want 0, 0 again. 
so it will jump here so what instruction i should use we should not use a dj and z because dj and z is a conditional jump now i don't have any condition continuously it has to be repeated so i'll just put short jump short jump up so i'll put that label here up so i'll come back to here it will become zero again it will display zero and it will wait for delay and again it will become one zero one zero one that's that will be the loop it will be in a loop so continuously it is toggling so last line you can write e n d that is the end of a program i hope this is clear for you you can change you can try for some new conditions here you can put a condition that i should toggle it for five times then what you can do you can assign a loop here assign a count move r not hash 05h assign it and then instead of s jump you can put dj and z r not label hub then it will just toggle that for five times now in the question there is no condition so that's why i'm taking it continuously i hope this is clear for you if it is clear press the like icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you